Hey guys, this is Srini and you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscopists. In the last few videos, we have been talking about Pandas library uh, in Python. And this library is, a, is an excellent library to handle CSV files, well, to handle data uh, and uh, to, to manipulate data and which eventually can be used for plotting and understanding, you know, the information contained within the data. Machine learning guys use pandas quite a bit, and uh, uh, let's uh, let's actually uh, talk a little bit more about this pandas library in today's uh, uh, tutorial, and specifically on the topic of using group by uh, grouping. And uh, the group by in in pandas can be used to group uh, rows of uh, a specific feature. For example, in our data set, if you remember. In our data set, uh, let me open the Excel uh, right here. Uh, we have a bunch of images as part of set one. And then we have a bunch of images as part of set two. And each of this contains some sort of uh, associated data with it. So uh, if you want to understand, uh, for example, the st statistics of just set one and then set two or set three, then we can group each of these into a specific group and we can perform these type of analysis. And this is exactly what I plan on showing in today's tutorial. Before jumping in, uh, let, uh, we should fix a couple of things. First of all, we should drop this column because that is useless column for us. Uh, this, this person trying to do manual analysis chickened out after the first three uh, images and realized that his time is better spent doing something else rather than doing manual image processing. So, and also this column doesn't have a name, so it assigned it unnamed zero and let's fix that, okay? Let's fix those two and then continue uh, our work. Let me clear all the variables from my previous lecture and let's clear the screen and these two, let's keep them. So uh, I'm importing the pandas library and then I created or I defined a data frame called df and that data frame is nothing but it's coming from reading a CSV file called manual versus auto.csv. Now, uh, first of all, like I said, let's uh, rename, actually, uh, we already looked at the data, so let's rename df uh, equals to df dot rename. Okay, we can rename a specific column. I covered this in our previous tutorial, I believe, and which one do we want to rename? Let's uh, do this. I think it's called unnamed. Let's go ahead and print it first. Print df dot head, so we can do the right thing unnamed zero okay so let's unnamed zero okay what do we want to rename this to we want to rename this to um, let's just say uh, image underscore set okay image underscore set this should do so if i run this uh, let's actually print this one more time here okay there you go but how uh, it did not seem to rename it what happened so unnamed zero columns columns uh, rename again this is the time to make this uh, simple mistakes I guess columns equal oh, unnamed. there's no column called unnamed unnamed uh, whatever that spelling was okay let's hope this works now Okay, there you go. So the unnamed zero has been renamed to image set. So one other thing, let's drop manual two because it's useless. And again, we learned how to do that in our second tutorial, I think, the on pandas. So this is df equals to df dot drop. By the way, I'm assigning this to df itself, which means I'm modifying df. Okay, you could have assigned it to a different data frame. Uh, so df dot uh, drop and let's do drop the manual and uh, axis equals to one because we're dropping a column. Okay, again, let's go ahead and print df dot head so we can see exactly. Okay, so oh, I don't want to drop manual. I want to drop manual too. Sorry about it. So there you go. So my manual is back. My manual two is gone. Okay. So I think we are set. Uh, we are okay to continue right now. Now uh, let's what? Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay. Let's group by. And the way you do that, actually, uh, 
let's just uh, uh, create a new data frame group by file is equal to df dot group by okay and by equals to what group by what and this is where I give my column name uh, which we renamed as image underscore set okay Again, let me make sure we got everything correct. Group by file, okay, that's the new variable I defined, equals to df, our original, our data frame from here, dot group by, where my by is equal to image set. I believe this is this is good. And uh, let's just do, um, I mean, defining this, now if I print it, I won't see any different right there, right? So let's do something with our group by. Uh, well, let's actually count within each group, okay? So group by count, okay? So I'm just counting the total number of entries from within each of these group. Group by uh, count equals to group by file, right? So that's the new file that we created, dot count. That's pretty much it. Now let's take exactly the same and let's also do um, average of each group okay is group by file dot mean okay I think that should do and let's actually print uh, group by uh, there's too many group bys so I'll just do set underscore data count let's do set underscore uh, data average okay so group by file okay set data count so if i print set data count okay let's go ahead and print this we should see for each set for image how many counts do we have manual how many do we have auto threshold how many all of these are 25s except in manual i have 24 in set one because if you remember uh, one is uh, uh, not a number okay so we only have uh, 24 uh, right there same thing if I just print set data average <coughs> excuse me so I should see the average okay so the average of each set basically okay so this gives you an idea of uh, why we want to group uh, something so in this way I can do some sort of a math by grouping if you already have uh, 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 grouped so that's pretty much it so that is group by and uh, actually let us uh, let me squeeze in another topic because this is uh, only an eight minute video and my limit is 20 uh, so let me do uh, one quick thing uh, correlation of data uh, between data first of all uh, let me just go ahead and type print df.corrr and that should do. You should see a matrix where you see along the diagonal we have all ones right there. Okay, So uh, this is, uh, and what does this basically mean? Like uh, this tells you how well a given uh, column or a given value is correlated against a different column. For example, my manual is correlated with manual 1.0, right? Because it is the same column. My manual 2 is highly correlated with manual 2. That's why I get a value of 1 right there. So no wonder diagonal is all 1. Now some are very close. My manual 2 is very closely correlated with manual right there. Because again, looks like manual, you tend to get the same type of uh, numbers there. And also my auto threshold 2 here correlated very well with your manual too. Now, a positive number indicates a positive correlation, which means if one goes up, the other goes up, okay? A negative correlation is if one goes up, then the other value goes down. That's a negative correlation. And no correlation, you get some number uh, over there. So this is basically, uh, uh, I mean, this is the wrong data set to show this as an example, but in scientific data analysis, you always have at least one, two, even multiple correlations, right? So that's this is a great way of understanding the correlation between different data, uh, different columns, for example, in your uh, in your data set. Now, 
uh, you can check correlation for specific columns. For example, instead of uh, uh, instead of uh, doing df dot correlation, let's actually do df manual. Okay, I want to look at the correlation between manual. This is nothing but I'm just extracting one value, not reporting the entire thing, uh, the entire matrix. So df manual, how is it correlated? Dot correlation of df. And let's pick another one, auto threshold two, because that's what we tend to use. There you go. Yeah, that should hopefully print out. Uh, <laughs> it printed a syntax error. No wonder, because I'm pretty good at making those syntax errors. Okay, there you go. So uh, here is the value, 0 0.738 and blah, 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 it keeps going on. So this is the correlation between my manual and auto threshold two. Yeah, so uh, in, a, in a way, uh, there, there should be no, well, in fact, uh, if the image has more cells, then the manual should go up and the auto should go up, right? So there is some sort of a correlation, but again, this is the wrong data set to, to talk about this, uh, uh, the correlation. So uh, in this tutorial, we covered uh, the grouping, group by, and uh, you can see how when you group these, you can do some sort of, uh, again, uh, uh, analysis on uh, individual groups rather than doing on the entire thing uh, and uh, on the entire data, uh, data frame. And we also looked at this correlation between multiple uh, columns. And again, I apologize for not having the right uh, data set for this correlation topic. But uh, again, I just squeezed in this topic because we had some extra time. Extra time. Uh, let's, uh, uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, dealing with null data, and I believe it will also be a very short tutorial. So uh, anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's meet again in the next uh, tutorial. Until then, please do subscribe to my channel, and if you have something to say about this specific video, please leave your comments. Thank you very much, and uh, let's meet again.